Okay, folks, I'm not going to bore you with a super long Ooh. intro. Let's just cut to the meat and potatoes. Today, I'm going to show you how to test an air conditioning capacitor. And you can use this for any capacitor check, but this is the most common used around the house. Warning. Be sure to discharge your capacitor to make sure it's safe to test. So to do that, you're simply gonna take a metal part of your screwdriver or other tool, make sure you're touching the insulated part of the driver though, so you don't wanna shock yourself. Just come across the contacts, any contacts that it has. Yours may have two or three. Just make sure you come across them. Any kind of uh, electricity that's in there now will be discharged safely. Now that you've discharged your capacitor, it's super easy. You're just gonna need a meter that's capable of measuring capacitance. Today, I've got my Fluke 87. Okay, we're gonna need to find our capacitance mode. Okay, I'm in capacitance, ready to measure microfarads. Okay, we'll grab our capacitor. Your capacitor may vary. Mine is 80 microfarads, plus or minus 5%. So that's the tolerance when you're doing your check. You got 5% in either direction off of 80 microfarads. On a three terminal like this, you're probably gonna have one that says fan. Don't worry about that one. You're gonna wanna go across the Herm over to the C, just touch the metal contacts. And as you can see, I'm getting 79.9, which is definitely within that 5% tolerance. So this capacitor is good. So if I were to get a 75, 74, that's going to be bad. All the way up to 76, that's right on the edge of that 5% plus or minus tolerance. So this capacitor, folks, is good. I could put this back into my air conditioning system and feel safe that it is going to provide the start run capacitance that I require. Real quick, I'll show you another capacitor. This one is only five microfarads plus or minus 6% tolerance on this one. As you can see, it's much physically smaller. You'll notice we're still in the capacitance mode. We'll go ahead and come across the two terminals again. And I've got 5.15, which is definitely, again, within that 6% plus or minus tolerance. So this capacitor, folks, is also good. And that's it, folks. You can check pretty much any capacitor that you want in this manner. Just make sure you have a meter capable of measuring capacitance. And then read your label to be sure you know what the tolerance is and what you're supposed to be getting. And, of course, be sure to discharge those contacts before you ever test these 